What are some of the latest features on electric vehicles that makes right now the time to get involved? I'm Mark Weller with EV West Education Department, and today we're going to take a look at some of the latest features that's available in EV technology and how we're using that technology in converting gas cars to electric. So we're going to take a look at these systems right here and learn some of those features. So EV West gets its roots from racing, and we started back around 2009. Michael Bream kind of pioneered the uh, electric vehicle race space really before electric cars were, were even around, before Tesla was around. And so we've used that same technology that we've learned from racing, and we've put those components into uh, a couple training carts that we have available uh, to teach people how electric vehicles work, and that these are the same systems that many of our customers use to convert their own gas cars to electric. So the training systems here that we've put together, so these are designed off of actual components. So the beauty of these is that you can learn from these uh, systems, or you can take the actual components off of here and put them into a, a real car that you would use for daily driving. So it's not, uh, it's not some uh, oddball three-wheel car that's uh, hard to put on a rack or that you can't store easily or that you have to keep it inside. These are, these are real components that you would use in a real car. So we have two versions of training carts that are available. So we have a lower voltage system that would be for a smaller car, and then we have a higher voltage system that uses a Tesla drivetrain would be for a more performance or a heavier vehicle. So let's just take a look at kind of some of the, the main components here that are on the system. So this will be our contactor box where we're gonna do all of our high voltage switching, our fuses, kind of one central location to make all of our connections. Uh, here we have our dash, so this will be all in the inside of the car where your regular dash is. Uh, we have our, our battery box here, so this is going to uh, basically our electric vehicle gas tank, if you will. Uh, and then we have our inverter, uh, is going to uh, take care of the controls for the motor, which is on the bottom there. So our Tesla system uh, has the same similar layout uh, on top. Uh, this has a much uh, bigger battery, it is a high voltage system. Uh, and then you have the Tesla drive unit on the bottom there. Uh, those are liquid cooled. And uh, so I should point out that both, both of the systems and on any electric vehicle or hybrid vehicle that you're working on or that you own, uh, they're gonna have a regular 12 volt battery, a 12 volt system uh, as well. So they will use, uh, so we have a, what's called a DC-DC converter that's gonna take care of charging your 12 volt battery. So I wanna spend a minute talking about batteries because that seems to be one of the more concerns of people whenever they hear about an electric vehicle. And so there has been uh, a lot of uh, technology and a lot of money uh, invested in batteries. And quite frankly, there's a lot of options that we have now. So in the conversion space, we generally, we're gonna use a battery that was originally designed for an electric vehicle. And so we have, and so some systems work out are very reliable and some not so reliable. So the nice thing about a conversion is you, you have the option that you can choose you know, what, what battery you want. Uh, in other words, if you're buying an electric car, maybe it had a good battery from the factory, maybe not, uh, you're just you're kind of stuck with it. But when we're building our own, we can choose uh, what's reliable. So we, we design our own battery boxes here at EV West, and so we fit those to uh, whatever battery system that we're using. Uh, this particular one is a universal box uh, that we've used for the Tesla modules. This one will hold four or five modules. Uh, it has a, a flat mount on it, and uh, we, we really like it a lot. So this one, it has the battery management system is inside, which would be typical of where you would find the battery uh, management system in a, in a factory electric vehicle. And so with the electric vehicle batteries, they are... Uh, somewhat sensitive and you do have to kind of make sure that those operate within a very tight window and so that's kind of the function of the battery management system is to make sure that we're charging the batteries evenly uh, and in the event that there is a problem or if a battery voltage goes too high uh, we want to make sure that we um, uh, alert the driver and shut down the charger. So we want to take a look at the motor system. So the main motor that's being used right now in the industry is an AC motor those come in two versions. So you have an induction motor or a permanent magnet motor. So within those, uh, so the system that we're using here is a low voltage. We use, it's a Hyper 9 motor. And so this one has a, a universal front on it where you would take an adapter plate and you would bolt to the front of the motor 
that would match to an existing transmission or transaxle. Uh, so that, that system works very good. Very easy conversion once you put the adapter plate on. Uh, there's a coupler that goes on the end of the shaft, and then you're going to treat it just like a, a gas engine in the way that you bolt it into the vehicle. So the other option would be using the Tesla drive system. And so this is a popular one if you're looking for performance uh, or if you have a heavier vehicle. So these ones here, they're kind of unique in that it's going to have the motor and the gearbox and the inverter all in one, one self-contained unit. And so with that, you're just going to need to use a motor mount system to bolt that into where, where the engine was. And then you will need to uh, adapt the axles from the Tesla to whatever vehicle you're converting. So one of the other areas that gets a lot of questions is going to be in the charging. And you have a lot of options now as far as charging the battery. Um, so depending on if you're wanting to charge the battery quickly uh, or if you have a larger battery, uh, that would kind of dictate how large of a charger you, you, you have. So the charger, if you're using level one or level two, is going to be in the car. So there is level three DC fast charging, but that's not something that's used in the conversion space right now. So you are going to have two different style of uh, plugs that you'll connect into the vehicle. So there was an original, uh, what's called a J1772 plug. Uh, this would be for North America, pretty much for North America. Uh, and then Tesla, they have their own proprietary plug, which is now becoming open to um, other manufacturers. And so that will probably be the, the style that takes over in the future. Uh, but you just need to know that there is, there is an adapter. So if you have a J1772 style plug and you, wa you want to um, charge a Tesla, um, you can just put the, the adapter in there. Or if you have a Tesla home charger, not, not the superchargers, but if you have a Tesla home charger, uh, you can, they have an adapter that will adapt that to a J1772. And so that works kind of nice. So if you have a household that has, uh, say, two electric vehicles and you just have one charger in the garage, Maybe you have a Tesla and some other brand. Uh, you could just use the single uh, charge station. So remember, the chargers are going to be in the car, but the charge station where the, where the, the plug is going to be, um, those will, you, you can make those work with either vehicle. So one of the other things that we're going to focus on is the display. And so you're going to want to have a way of communicating with your EV system and knowing um, kind of the state of health of your system. And so we like this AEM display. This one uses CAN controls, uh, and you can, you can customize this any way you want. So we, have, uh, we already have a file that we've created as kind of a template that you're welcome to use, uh, or you can totally design your own. So if you're familiar with uh, CAN bus systems, uh, the, really what you can do with this is limitless. Um, and if you're not, then you can just use our file and, and uh, download the file and, and plug it in and, and use it. Um, so this one has, uh, we have this one set up for, I don't know if the camera will pick it up, uh, but we have the, uh, the batteries here, just showing the, the batteries. And then there are some other customizable uh, things that you can do with that. So EV West, we offer training down here in Southern California several times throughout the year. So if you would like to learn in detail um, how to build your own conversion or just learn more about electric vehicles, uh, you're welcome to uh, check out our website and learn when upcoming training dates are available. So if you're an educator and you're watching this and you would like to learn more about electric vehicles that you're going to take back to your school uh, to teach your students, uh, we would love to share this knowledge with you. We have all of the resources and everything you need to learn, uh, have a good understanding of electric vehicles and um, all of the safety features, all of the math calculations, everything that you need to know. Uh, so we would love to see you here for a training. You're welcome to go to evwest.com. And then in addition, uh, whenever a school purchases a cart, it is, includes training that goes along with it. And so most of those I do uh, live. So you're welcome to jump in on one of those. So if you're in another part of the country uh, and you would love to see us and you would say, wow, I wish I could see this uh, hands-on, uh, that is a possibility. So you can reach out to us here or you can check our website and see where we'll be. Uh, and I think that about wraps it up for now. So I'm Mark Weller with the EB West Education Department, and I look forward to seeing you soon.